We want to celebrate one of our own, Faith Ogalo. After 12 years, Kenya, IJ Pele come to Taekwondo for Olympics. But after 12 years, finally, we have Faith Ogalo Mwenya Lienda. Apo hivi, you know, Taekwondo. Walikuwa mnoma sana. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is a feature about one of our own, one of our Kenyans champions at the Olympics 2020 in Tokyo, Faith Ogalo. Okay, my name is Faith Ogalo. I play Taekwondo, plus six, seven kgs. Okay, I would say uh, I, I never thought of Taekwondo in my life. I used to play basketball and other field uh, uh, games, uh, the ball games most of the time, uh, and also field events, running, uh, but I never, I've never thought of Taekwondo, not until when I was in Kibabi University, uh, first year, uh, my second semester, uh, my coach, Eliaki Moteno, introduced me uh, to Taekwondo sport. Yeah, I found it uh, very tough, but I gave it a try. I feel so much uh, proud uh, because uh, Every athlete wishes to play that top, high top games. And I would say Olympic is one of the highest level games. Uh, I felt so much happy uh, so that we also empower other athletes, telling them that it can be done. Okay, how I felt, you know, the reason at times why I fight, because I fight for climate change. And uh, right now, you see, we are having a, a climate change crisis all over the world. And uh, when I represent my country, I feel so nice because I also champion for climate change in my country. It gives me that uh, confidence, uh, you know. And then when you walk around, you see Kenyan flag, even in the hall where we were playing. All the flags there, I saw Kenyan flag and it was because of me. I really felt nice seeing my flag on top there in, a, in the arena where we were playing. Okay, pre, most of the time, I would say uh, the sports centers, uh, they were on and off, on and off, lockdown, everything had shut down. And most of the athletes, they didn't have areas to train. From. Most they used to train at home, which is a very challenging situation because training at home is never easy. Maybe like Taekwondo, you make a lot of noise. So when you shout, people are like, why? Oh, don't shout for us. Train quiet. And then when we started resuming, uh, I was training alone. I didn't have uh, sparring partners. You know, it was also a challenging situation. And then later on, they came on board. Yeah, after the intervention from the Ministry of Health and also from the World Health Organization. And then I would say later on, uh, going for competition, we never got enough exposures when uh, there international games. We didn't get enough. I remember we only, we were, we only went for one uh, in Senegal African Championship. And for other athletes in Tokyo, the way I saw them, they've been doing this, competing amongst themselves. We see a problem in Africa. We don't have so many competitions. And like in European countries, they organize tournaments amongst themselves, a state over a state, and then they compete. And they are high level ranking games. And so you see, we are lowly ranked because we didn't get enough exposure. But all in all, we had a team from the National Olympic Committee, uh, counselors who were helping us to go through, psychologists, uh, they were helping us to go through. Uh, yeah, I would say that. And then also more challenges on uh, interaction. You know, in a bubble, you are not supposed to interact with other people. And you know, the nature of sport is uh, interacting, uh, having a good moment, exchanging. But this time round, it was tough because we were not allowed to uh, interact that much, we limited. And then also fans. You know, uh, sports, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very fun when we have fans around, you know, cheering, making noise, but this time round, uh, there were no fans. So, you know, it was very, very, very emotional and very hard, but uh, we went through it, yeah, I'll say that. Yes, I'll say I felt supported because uh, uh, the government has been supporting me. 
uh, Kibabi University, they've been supporting me. And also Climate uh, Change Unit, they've been supporting me. Uh, because, uh, you know, I was training at the same time I was doing my field attachment. Uh, you know, they were giving me that flexible uh, schedule and uh, I felt so much supported, even from my family. They really, really supported me. They were like, Faith, go, you can make it. I had friends, media house, everybody was like advertising me everywhere. I really, really felt supported. And also we had so many stakeholders, Tasca coming in, I remember Charity Sweeps Take. So many people came in and uh, we really, really got enough support this time around, I would say. So many people supported this Olympic 2020 Olympics. And uh, I would say that uh, that was a good move for Kenya. In future, I would say I had so much wish to become a, a climate change ambassador. Or if it doesn't work, a uh, minister for sports. Because uh, I really, really see how Avina Muhammad uh, really work in sports and I've been actually admiring her. Uh, the way she has really, really supported sports uh, when she stepped in. We are celebrating Team Kenya when you are at Olympics Tokyo. 2020.